Hey everybody, this is Brennan with Common Motor, common-motor.com on the internet. Today, we're gonna to talk about the test light and how it's the only tool you need to troubleshoot the electrical system on your vintage Honda motorcycle. Stay tuned. This is a test light. It's a very simple tool used to diagnose uh, electrical problems and electrical systems on the vintage Hondas built from the 60s through the 70s. Now, while a lot of you might be really intimidated by electrical, uh, the big color of wires, the bird's nest, et cetera, the reality is the electrical systems on these bikes are very simple, and this is the only tool you need to be able to troubleshoot those issues. We're gonna use an analogy here. I like to think of the test light here as the compass, and then our wiring diagram for your specific bike is kind of the map, right? So again, this is our compass and our map. Uh, you may or may not need this depending on your skill level, but it's always good to have a reference. In case you need it, it's in the back of most of the service manuals as a, a reference there. But we're not gonna talk about this so much. We're gonna talk about the actual tool itself and its different pieces and elements and how we use it. In essence, all a test light is, is a glorified light bulb on its own independent circuit. Now that sounds like a mouthful, but really it's just a light bulb with two wires coming out at either end. Uh, in this example, this is the test light we have here at the Common Motor website. It actually uses an LED instead of an incandescent bulb, but there's lots of different variations of test lights out there over the years. And uh, while we have a, a LED or a light bulb here in the handle, which will illuminate, and we'll show you that in a second, we have two ends of that bulb. We have a wire clip end here with an alligator clip on the wire that hooks to one side, right? And on this end, we have a probe, and that probe connects to the opposite side of the bulb there and can be used for getting into like, wire connections or actually having to pierce a wire if we need to to see if do we have current there. So again, it's a glorified light bulb. Let's hook up to a battery and show you. Now typically when we have a battery in an application like a motorcycle, the negative terminal is ground. So it's hooked to the frame, it's hooked to the motor. And in this case, we're gonna take our alligator clip and hook it to the negative side of the battery. Then our probe on the other end, to the positive side of the battery, and the light kicks on. Kicks on because we have a complete circuit. We can do it this way, but we can also do this. Flip it over and do the opposite. You know, when, we di when we're doing diagnostic, we can be clever on how we approach and of course, it runs the opposite way. What's important to remember is the electrons always start at the negative side of the battery, through the load, and they end at the positive side of the battery. You have to understand that's the loop. We'll go into more detail about this when we talk about ground circuits and positive voltage circuits in subsequent videos, but it's important to realize the test light can be used in either direction. It doesn't matter uh, which way you connect it, but you'll connect it in certain configurations based on what you're trying to diagnose. The last point I want to emphasize, and it's also a good rule for when you were starting to do diagnostic on electrical is the very first thing you test before you dive into the electrical system is the actual test light itself because, well, just like any other electrical circuit, the test light could be bad or perhaps the battery is bad. So always start off with connecting to the negative, testing the positive, and make sure your actual light bulb and your light is working. If not, you'd be chasing a ghost because your tool isn't doing what it's supposed to do. So always test the test light first to make sure it's working and you have battery power before you try to go and do something else in the circuit. I can't tell you, I've done that a few times where it's like, what's going on, what's going on? Then I realized that you know, the bulb in here was burnt out because it's a light bulb and it can do that. So this concludes the you know, lesson on understanding what is a test light. And I realized we didn't do any diagnostic with it. We're gonna be doing that in some uh, other videos here showing how we're gonna use a test light in application on troubleshooting the bike, but it's important to understand the basics of this tool so we can get deeper into the electrical system. Once again, this is Brendan from Common Motor, common-motor.com on the internet. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our newsletter via our website, and of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications, and we'll see you next time.